In this video, I want to talk about the intuition as to why strict exogeneity violations leads to bias in OLS estimates. And the first example we're going to talk about here is that of the situation where we have what we call lagged independent variables. And the example which I gave in the last video about this was where we had a situation where we had GDP at time t is being dependent on, let's say, the level of monetary policy, some sort of monetary policy indicator at time t, plus some sort of error at time t as well. And the strict exogeneity assumption in this circumstance requires that the expectation of this error term ut, given monetary policy at any other time s, including a time where s equals t, has to be equal to zero. And we spoke about the problem with the situation with, was due to the fact that monetary policy at time t likely has some sort of effect on GDP in the future. And because of that, we can sort of think about this error at time t as containing some sort of monetary policy at time t minus 1. And because of that, we could sort of say that there is going to be some correlation between the error at time t and monetary policy at time t minus 1, and we'd expect them to be positively correlated. And because of that, we actually have a violation of this above condition. And because of that, we know that beta hat OLS will actually be biased. But what's the intuition as to why there is actually this bias? Well, we expect that monetary policy is quite correlated with itself across time. So we expect that monetary policy at time t is highly correlated with monetary policy at period um, t minus 1. So we'd expect, again, that there would be some sort of positive correlation between these two variables. And because of that, and because we essentially haven't included this important variable in our regression, monetary policy at time t, which is this variable here, is essentially going to be taking some of the credit away from monetary policy at period t minus 1. So in this circumstance, we're going to have that the sort of OLS estimates of beta hat, or the value which it outputs, on average is going to be greater than the true parameter beta, because monetary policy at time t is taking some of the credit away from monetary policy at period t minus 1. The second example I want to talk about is what we spoke about as a sort of feed-forward situation. And the example I gave here was where we had sort of sales at time t as being determined by the level of spend on advertising at time t plus some error ut. And remember again that we are sort of requiring from strict exogeneity that the expectation of ut given advertising at time s has to be equal to zero for all s. And we spoke about the reasons as to why this strict exogeneity assumption could be violated in this situation it could be violated because essentially advertising budgets are set dependent on previous levels of sales. So this advertising at time t might be some sort of function of sales at period t minus 1, which because we know we have this relationship with sales, this is itself some sort of function of the error at period t minus 1. So we have some sort of positive correlation between the error, ut minus 1, and sales, uh, or sorry, and advertising at period t. So we have some sort of positive correlation, which means that we have a violation of this strict exogeneity condition here. But what's the intuition as to why beta hat OLS will not in general equal the true parameter beta? Well, here you can sort of think about advertising at time t is actually really dependent on the level of sales at period t minus 1. And because sales is likely very highly correlated with itself, essentially advertising is going to be doing some of the job of sales. So you can sort of think about it, sales are naturally high, and because advertising is set based on those level of sales, it will appear as if advertising will be having more effect than it actually is, and we will conclude that beta hat OLS will actually output a value of the parameter, which is more often than not greater than the true parameter beta.